And we're down to the last uh, session that we have for uh, book number 19. This is um, physics number 13. And uh, it only has one part. Ayan. So uh, in this part, we only have uh, a summative. We only have a summative assessment under communicate, and uh, these items are uh, multiple choice items, and they are found in page number twenty three to twenty four of the seven e based self learning module that I prepared. Unit four, book number nineteen. Let's start. I need you to get a small piece of paper, siguro mga one fourth sheet of paper, and then um, write your answers to uh, the following questions. Okay. And you might need uh, your calculators. You might need extra scre- uh, scrap paper. Ayan. Uh, you need them. Uh, and maybe if you kept an index card of your uh, formulae, maybe you also uh, can use that. Okay, that subject to uh, change in the future. But again, uh, if you need it, uh, and I think, uh, okay lang naman na meron kayong kopya ng formulae, you go ahead and get them. Now, if you're ready with all of those materials, uh, let's uh, go with the first question. Question number one, Aunt Eva was so excited to give Liam his new motorcycle. One day, Liam asked the company of his sister, Keith, and they rode the new motorcycle around their community in Glee. At one point, they reached a velocity of 80 meters per second with a momentum of 6,554.9 kilograms meters per second, or as you know it, newtons. Now, how heavy is Liam's new motorcycle along with the passengers, of course? Is it A, 524? 1,392 kilograms, B, 82 kilograms, C, 6,634.9 kilograms, or is it D, 6,474.9 kilograms? You need more time to solve for this problem, so you may pause this video. If you're done answering, let's proceed with question number two. Question number two, which among the following factors is dependent on the amount of force, F, applied to an object in the contact time, T, with which the force was applied? A, velocity, B, impulse, C, momentum, or D, final momentum. Pause this uh, video if you need more time to uh, think. If you're done, let's proceed with the next item. Item number three. Among his siblings, Ashley is the most careful guy. He is always trusted to be careful in things that he does. So when he was asked to drive the family car, which is a black Toyota Fortuner, his dad, Uncle Alex, did not have worries. Ashley will surely drive the 1,200 kilogram car at 25 meters per second, which is quite slow, in fear that he will scratch it or that he may overspeed. If Ashley does so, what will be the momentum of the car? A. 10,000 kg meters per second or Newton. B. 20,000... Not really Newton, I'm sorry, that's not Newton. Ten, is it A? Let me repeat that. A. 10,000 uh, kg meters per second. B. 20,000 kg meter, meters per second. C. 30,000 kg meters per second. Or is it D, 40,000 kilogram meters per second? You need more time to solve for this problem. Pause the video. If you're done, let's now proceed with item number four. Aunt Lenny asked Uncle Louie to go to to the market to buy bitter gourd and some baking supplies. It is their son Jeff's birthday and they want to make it special. On his way to the market, Uncle Louis drove his 430kg tricycle until he reached a 30 meter per second velocity at one point. He continued in that, with that velocity, but as he approaches the nearby community school, Ayala High School, he slowed down for about uh, 5 seconds until his velocity is only 10 meters per second. Now, how much force did Uncle Louis make the brakes how much force did Uncle Louie apply to the brakes of his motorcycle? Ayan. Now, is it A, positive 1,720 newtons? Is it B, 
negative 1,720 newtons? Is it C, positive 8,600 8, newtons? Or is it D, negative 8,600 newtons? Pause this video if you need more time. If you're done, let's proceed with the last item. Item number 5. The only member of our family who could drive a bus is Uncle Fortunato. That is why we asked him to drive for the whole clan on our trip to Subic. The overall mass of the bus was 4,500 kilograms. We are happily driving when we needed to stop because one of my cousins, Edward, needs to pee outside. We were running at 90 meters per second when Uncle Fortunado applied pressure on the brake pads, which caused an application of negative 6,250 newtons of force to the applied uh, that is applied to the bus. I, I think that it's just a typographical error. Now, given this scenario, how long will it take for the bus to stop? A. 64.8 seconds B. 6,314.8 seconds C. 32.4 seconds Or is it D. 3,157.2 seconds Alright if, we're, uh, if you need more time, you can pause this video, but uh, if you are done, let us now proceed with uh, the answers. For item number 1, the answer is 82 kilograms. For item number 2, the answer is impulse. Remember that uh, impulse is equal to force times time. For item number 3, uh, the answer is 30,000 kilogram meters per Second, so uh, ano lang yan, yung 1,200 kilogram is the mass and then yung 25 meters per second naman is the velocity. For item number 4, the answer is negative 1,720 newtons. Okay, so we have there the initial velocity na 30 meters per second, the final is 10 meters per second, the mass is 430, so you multiply it sa dalawa, but make sure na nasa una yung final velocity, which is 10, which will always, um, almost always, uh, make the result negative, and you divide that by 5. And then, the last one is 64.8 seconds, letter A. Um, the, uh, the final velocity for this one is... Um, zero because you're gonna be uh, multiplying 4,500 kilograms with basically the stop so that's the final velocity and what you get there is zero so you you're left with a negative um with a with a actually with a positive one uh, that is going to be 64.8 seconds again all right so we're done with this session. I'm hoping na may nakuha kayong mga information from this uh, video lesson that uh, you uh, were able to assess your knowledge of book number 19. Sa ating susunod na video lesson yan, ano na siya, book number 20 na siya. And I'm actually quite excited to uh, show it to you. It's uh, the result of my uh, Master It, the 7e-based self-learning module in Science 9. Now, uh, make sure that you have uh, noted your score for this activity, for this uh, assessment. Okay? Alright. Now, I'll see you in the next video lesson. This is our CJ. Have a good day.